Hello, this is Derek Brahmi again, helping you out with the bass trombone um, orchestral excerpt portion of your audition. <clears throat> this work is uh, from Dvorak's Eighth Symphony, and it needs to be nice and full and big, triumphant, heroic, whatever words you want to describe it. Definitely listen to the work. Uh, it's from the first movement. Um, the the accents and things that are marked do everything as best as you can, as exactly as they are on the page. The eighth note runs, try and don't rush, but crescendo through them so you get this D, 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 very heraldic moment. Um, the day crescendo at the end, make sure you do that because it's actually written on the page. Um, the one of the bigger issues with this excerpt for younger trombone players or bass trombone players, if you don't have a bass trombone that you're playing this excerpt on, the very first note of the piece, you technically don't really have on your horn. You ha you'd have to fake it. Um, a C, with a, if you just have one trigger, that C is as far out as you can reach in seven. So if I want that B to actually happen, I have to fake the note. So you could technically do that, but this first note is really meant to only be played on a bass trombone in the actual orchestral setting. Um, so if you don't have that first note, maybe play it up the octave. If, if you are playing in this excerpt on a tenor trombone for your audition, if you have a bass trombone, then you're going to find that note in just a fifth-ish area. Check it with your tuner. So, those are the spots for that note. Let's hear, let me get the excerpt up. Wherever I have it. All right. Here is the... Excerpt. Don't do what I'm doing. Make sure you print this off and don't read it off these tiny little notes. All right. So I'm not going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I'm going one, two, one, two, D, 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 D. So think of thinking about it in two, I think, is helpful. If you have any other questions about it, please let one of your directors know, or you can try and contact me in some way. My information is easily available on UMD or EWS's website. Good luck.